Hey guys! So for today's video I will show you my purchases and new stuff that I got from sponsors and collaborations in the month of May. And yes, I know it's June already, please forgive me, I'm so late with this video. But I've been working full time lately because a colleague of mine got surgery and I'm taking over her full time hours until she's ready to come back to work. It's kind of hard to find a perfect balance between blogging and a full-time job, which explains my absence on the blog lately. But that's not the point of this video, so let me just show you the stuff that I got and I hope you like it. So the first new entry in my closet is a shirt that I'm wearing and it's by Karl Lagerfeld. And it was a gift from my dad, so thank you daddy. And I'm usually not a fan of leopard print, but this one is blue leopard print and it even has a dip and dye, which makes it a little bit more different and I think that's why it caught my attention in the first place. So next up are these sneakers from Nike, or no, uh, Nike. That's what the official Nike boss said, you should pronounce it as Nike and not as Nike, so now you know. And they are the Air Max Pia model and they were a gift from J Brand, which is a UK based website. And I always said that these sneakers should only be worn to the gym. But when I saw tons of people wearing these sneakers with every outfit possible, my curiosity was a little bit triggered, which made me decide to order these when I had the chance. And even though I'm still not convinced 100% to wear these sneakers with every outfit that comes in my mind. I can definitely imagine why other people would, because they are comfy as hell. I already made an outfit post with them, along with an explanation or a deeper explanation, which made me decide to order these when I had the chance, and I will put the outfit link below. Another pair of sneakers that you probably have seen on the blog already are these ones. The light isn't that good, but they are the Stan Smith for Adidas sneakers. And I finally, finally, finally managed to get my hands on them. I love the fact that they are clean, simple, yet stylish, and I've been wearing them on a daily basis. And they're such a great investment and I'm so happy I finally got them. The nearest Adidas store is in Antwerp, which is about an hour drive from here. And when I entered the store, they only had these one left in my size, which was a sign, obviously. And I'm so happy. Also new in my closet is a necklace that I got at the opening of the And Other Stories store in Antwerp and it's a necklace with little rosé gold tubes if you can call it that and I really like it but as you can see I still haven't got the chance to wear it or I did have the chance but I'm a disaster when it comes to wearing new jewelry because I always tend to grab to my basics which are these ones Another item that you have already seen on the blog is this awesome Bart Simpson t-shirt. And like I said in the blog post, if you're not a fan of the Simpsons, you're probably not in my circle. I mean, how can you not love the Simpsons? But it was a gift from Black Five and I'm so happy I got it. I got a lot of compliments on it and I just feel that you're never too old to wear these type of shirts. So these were the new entries in my closet, I hope you like them. And now we'll continue with the new entries in my beauty case. So first up is this eyeshadow palette I got at the opening of the Inglot store in Hassel. Ugh, the colors aren't really visible. See what I mean? Too much light. I really need to get a better camera to film my videos. But it's a peachy color. A silver shimmery color and a nude matte color and I already made a blog post about these colors and also made an eye look with it 
So I will post the link below again so you can see the colors from up close. Another item I got at the Inglot opening is this eyeliner brush. I usually work with an eyeliner pen, but the girls at Inglot convinced me to try a brush. And I'm still not that handy with it, so I tend to grab my eyeliner pen. But I'm still practicing, so I hope I'll manage to use it very soon. As I told you just now, I went to the opening of the End Other Story store in Antwerp. And again, I couldn't leave with a few goodies from the beauty department. The first thing I got is this face contour cream. And as you can see, I already used it a bit. And even though it's really dark compared to my skin tone, if you just put a teeny tiny bit right here to contour your face and brush it out with a blush brush, if you, if you say it like that, you will get a really nice effect. I'm not wearing anything today because it's too hot outside. I really couldn't help myself, so I came home with another two red lipsticks. And I know a lot of people think like it's just red lipsticks, why do you have to own so many of them? But to me red lipsticks, I don't know, they're my holy grail. Uh, the people who know me also know that I never step outside with it. I always wear red lipstick and sometimes I change to bright pink but I will always stick to red if I have to, if I have to choose red. So the next color I got is called Luxor Red and it's really hard to explain this color. It has a little bit of a brown tone to it. And even though I usually go for the bright red lipsticks, this color just appealed to me. I don't know why. And I also haven't tried this one because I'm waiting to swatch them and review them. But I wanted to wait until after this video because otherwise it would be dirty and already used. But I will definitely make a blog post about these lipsticks. And last but not least is a new MAC lipstick and it was a gift for my mom, so sweet. And even though I said that I usually go for red, I fell in love with this color. It's called Heroin and it's this awesome purple, dark purple matte color and it's absolutely gorgeous on the lips. Oh my god, you guys, I almost forgot. I also got this huge box from D Makeup, and it's just packed with beauty stuff uh, to remove the makeup from your face. So it's just filled with makeup removers. So you have lotion to remove waterproof mascara, cotton um, pads, that's with lotion already on it and wipes to remove the makeup from your face. Like I said before, uh, I can't really remember where I said it, but I'm really terrible when it comes to removing my makeup. I'm almost ashamed to say that I go to bed with my makeup on almost every night, but before you shoot me, as you can see, I now have no more excuses to go to bed with my makeup on and I'm really excited and curious to start trying out these products so thank you the makeup for this box because I really really needed it. So that was it for my new in May video. I really hope you liked it and I'm really planning on buying a more professional camera for my videos and I'm also planning on making more videos in the future. Uh, if you like this video, you can always do a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!